and a map of England. Some magical moments in Chillum today. And a magical moments won a young man from Kent £300 and a weekend in London, courtesy of the post office. Seven-year-old James Lark, you see, from Sittingbourne, got the first prize in a letter-writing competition. He had to write a letter describing a magical moment. James is here with his mum and dad, Peter and Francis. James, read us for a little while, will you, that letter that you wrote that won you all that money. Dear Daddy, I am writing to tell you about a magical moment you missed while you were away on a course. One day the phone rang. Mummy picked it up. It was Grandad. He wanted me to come on his ship. Oh, you can imagine how I felt. The ship was docking next to HMS Belfast. Grandad's ship is called the RRS Charles Darwin. What does he do on it? He, um, sir... He looks for things. He's a scientist, is mm. he? Well, where had he a been, scientist. James? He's been to West Africa. And he just come well, back? Well, I saw him on television once. Did cause... you? He's been on television? Oh, yes. sorry, I'm distracting your letter. Carry on with your letter. Um, where were you? Uh, next day I went to London. At last I got there. The RRS Charles Darwin was new at the time. Mm -hmm. First of all, I met Grandad. Uh -huh. As he's the captain, he's the most important person on the ship. Oh, he's the boss, is he? Mm. He's in charge. So what happened next? He took me to his cabin. He was wearing his uniform. He did look smart. I bet he did. <laughs> were there lots of people there? He, yes, mm. but we were special guests. I bet you were, yes. Here, how did you come to enter this competition? Well... I was thinking, well, shall I enter it? And I didn't really know what it was about at first. But mm -hmm. and I, I started writing a rough copy, then second rough copy. How much help did you have from your mum and dad? Much? Did they give you much Not help? much. Not much. Do you write letters to lots of people? Yes. Who, what sort of people do you write to? Mostly my grannies mm -hmm. and granddads. Yeah. And what about, do you write to famous people at all? Any presidents or no. prime ministers? No. Mm. Now, he's won, Francis, £300. <laughs> What's he going to do with the money? Well, actually, he's won £400 because he had £100 for the regional <laughs> final to start with. Um, so far, he hasn't really decided what to do. The only thing he's thought of is buying a pet. So he's going to get <laughs> a, a gerbil. gerbil. <laughs> a gerbil. And perhaps you'd like to write to somebody about your gerbil. Yes. <laughs> Are you very proud of him, Peter? What he's very done? Much. Yes, yes. I mean, I was very disappointed to miss the visit. That's why he wrote to me. <laughs> but uh, I think this has more than made up for it. Yeah, yeah, it's smashing. Well done then, James, and uh, I hope you enjoy the money. I hope you enjoy the money. Mike, back to you. Thanks, Mike. So if anyone's got a gerbil to, uh, to sell, James has got £400 to spend on one. Now, Eastbourne has long been regarded as Britain's most genteel seaside resort for more than...